Hello ladies and gents, um, welcome to our second or third lesson you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'm going to also, I think, I'm going to take this lesson and split it into two shorter videos, otherwise it will take a bit too long. So what we're going to do today, we're going to uh, remind us of how to draw a stem and leaf uh, graph, which you probably did in grade 8, and class intervals, which I'm not 100% sure you've done in grade 8. So not difficult stuff. So I've got a bunch of data here. It could be, I don't know what, uh, amount of ice cream sold from an ice cream van on different days, okay? And we, what we're going to do now, we're actually going to present it. It's not about analyzing it. We're not going to calculate any means or anything like this in this lesson. We're going to just present it. And the two ways of presenting it is one stem and leaf and the other one in a class interval, which is a table. Let's start with the stem and leaf, okay? So the stem and leaf, is, it, it has, stem and leaf has like a stem, which is your, uh, like the big digits. It will make sense in a second. And the leaf are the smaller digits. So what is, uh, you know, all these numbers, I just chose two digits, but you can do the same thing with three digits. So the stem is made out of that first digit, okay? The, the tens, okay? So I've got teen, you know, 13. Uh, I've got 15, okay? So let's start with a one. Then I've got 20, okay, 20, okay, so I'll put the 22 here. Then I've got a bunch of 30s here, so I'll put the 3 here. And there is a 40, at least one 40, two 40s here, okay. So that's my stem. That's like my, I just want to make sure you guys can see it all. Yeah, you can. So that's my stem, okay. Now I'm putting the other numbers as my leaf. So I have to do it in order. So I'm going to have to go get another pen and I'll look for the smallest number. I've got 13 here and I've got 15. I've got nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to put 3 and then a 5. Okay, so that tells me there's a 13 and there's also a 15. And as you go along and you do that, do yourself a favor and just cross them out. So you, you know, now there's less to look at. Then I'll make sure there's nothing in other team. Okay, so next we're moving to the 20. Okay, so I gotta work here in 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 the same in from smallest to biggest. So the smallest one, I don't have 20, 0, okay, I don't have 20, so the smallest one is 21. So I'm gonna cross that. Uh, I've got oh, I've got two twenty ones. So what happens if I have two twenty ones, two of the same number? Then I have to write one and one. I need to repeat it to show that it's repeating. Okay, and then I've got two twenty twos, check that out. So I'm gonna put two and then two. And then I've got a 25, and that's it. That's the end of the 20, okay? So that is 20s. Moving on to the 30, okay? Now I've got 30, 30, three zeros. So what would I do? I'll write three, I'll put the zero there, okay? That's the, the tens, and these are the units. I've got any other 30? I've got 36, 30, 33, okay? So 33, and then we have 36, and we also have a 38. Okay, let's cross them. Okay, so I've got another, oh, I've got 37. Okay, so that happens. All right, I've got to cross that 8. I'm going to put the 7 first, and I'll put the 8 there. Okay, that's it with the 30s. And now 40. I've got 41, 43. Okay, so I'm going to put 41. And, oh, I like 3. Okay, so that's, that's pretty easy to make the stem and leaf, okay? And you, by crossing out, you can see you covered all of them. Now, you know, I, I'm not going to do it, but what happened if I had, uh, I don't know what, uh, numbers that were, let's say, 101, 120, 110, or 11, then, well, the stem is going to be then 10, 11, 12, okay? And then I'm going to have 101, 111, 120, so, you know, the stem, if I have three digits, the stem could be more than just the 10. Okay? Um, right, so let's just erase that. And now, we're going to present the same data in what we call a class interval table. This is, I'll be honest with you now, this is, we kind of, we've learned it again in grade 9, but we're going to put it to bed. We're not, we're not going to work with that in grade 10. But class interval table, you're going to go through all the way to a um, matric. Uh, in fact, we've seen already a class interval, in, I think, in the last lesson. I didn't call it a class interval. 
and uh, we just had it as, as a given, as a data, but now I actually have to build it. So what is a class interval, okay? I'll explain in a second, interval. Uh, we're gonna have frequency on this side, okay? We've already come across, like I said, in the last case, and we come across this uh, frequency. Let me write it a little bit nicer. Come on, station interval, okay? So this thing, these bunch of numbers are called raw data, okay? What does it mean, raw data? It's just, it's just collected. We, 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 don't, we didn't put them in any classification. We didn't, it's just raw data. So one of the first things we do is we present it. So we can present it like that, but more likely we're going to present in the table. So I want to write down, okay, how would I write that? Can I, I can say, okay, I'm going to look at this x. We'll call this x. What about all the x that are larger or equal to 10, smaller than 20? That's my first class interval. I don't want to define class interval, but you can see it. It's basically, it's grouping. That's what I'm doing. I'm grouping this data. So I'm taking all the x's out between n20 and I should, and, and I have, uh, what does this thing mean? That means it's larger or equal to 10. Here, it's only smaller than 20. You'll see in a second why I'm doing it. The next class interval, the next group, is going to be larger or equal to 20, and then smaller to 30. And now you can see why I only have the equal on the one side, not on the other side. Because, look, there will be like 30. Okay? There is one data here, which is 30. Now, if I just said larger than 10, smaller than 20, and larger than 20, smaller than 30, larger than 30, smaller than 40. And the question is, where is the 30 going to belong to? Is it going to belong to this group, to this class interval, or to that? So we have to be systematic. We're going to say, okay, if it's 10, then it belongs, or sorry, if it's 10, it belongs to here. If it's 20, it doesn't belong to here, it will belong to there. If it's 30, it's not going to belong to this uh, interval, it's going to belong to that. So I have to put the equal sign on the same side. I can't change it all the time. You could have put it there. It's fine, but it has to be in every. Uh, okay, one more interval because I have a bunch of 40s. So that's larger or equal to 40 and smaller than 30. I can, if I want to, I can do one more group. Larger or equal to 50, smaller than 60. But obviously, there's not going to be anyone in that group because I don't have any 50. Okay, so that's the class interval. What is the frequency? The frequency is the number of data points in that group. So how many do I have between 10 and 20? Now, here's the thing. If you've done the stem relief, now it will be very easy to draw this uh, class interval table. If, you, if I didn't have that, then it will be more difficult. I'll have to count. Okay, one... 13, and I've got a 15 somewhere, didn't I? Where was that 15? Where did it go? I'm sure I did. 15. So I know I'll have to put 2 here. But now because I did all this work to make this stem and leaf, then it's easy to say, okay, there's 2 here. How many in the 20s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. How many in 30s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many in the 4? 2. Okay, how many in the 50s? Zero. Obviously, I didn't really even need to draw it. Okay, so the only thing that can go wrong here is when you have something like a 30 and you need to decide which way, where is the 30 going to belong to? Is it going to belong to this one or is it going to belong to that one? And because I've got the equal sign here and here is smaller than 30, it doesn't belong to that group because 30 is not smaller than 30. 30 is equal to 30, so it belongs to this one. Hopefully that makes sense. I'll pause here.